Our moonship pilot should be around here somewhere, is that right?
lively, everyone. I know, I know. This 1,243rd inspection is a mite ahead of schedule, but it is of the utmost importance. For Zodiac, alas, is no more. As of now, our mighty moon has a new purpose. To bear the people of Aetherius to safety! Our time is come, my friends! Be swifter than swift. There is much to do before our guests arrive. I expect your workstations to be immaculate. And don't forget to relay our signal to Etheris. Questions? Yes? No? Maybe so? No? Then hop to it! Is a rather curious crew she hath chosen. Their endearing forms intended to ease the passengers' hearts, perhaps. Perhaps?
Introductions are in order. Ahem. My name is Livingway, and we are the Loperitz, created for the express purpose of commanding this ship and bearing the people of Atheris to a brave new world. More specifically, I am the one whom she charged with the execution of her most vital plans. You might say I'm her right paw. <laughs> Nothing weighs the name, map reader and navigator of the heavens. Pleasure to meet you all, but I'm still trying to make sense of this. Confusion and bewilderment are completely understandable. Fear not, I shall walk you through it. The people of Atheris, through no fault of your own, I'm sure, set in motion a series of events that, unfortunately, culminated in Zodiac's obliteration. Acutely aware of the imminent crisis, your parents sent you little ones on ahead while they began the necessary preparations. Still not following? No? Very well, I shall elaborate further. Here, we have Atheris, your home, and the moon, where we are now. Without Zodiac around to keep things lively, so to speak, the celestial currents of the star have doubtless begun to degrade. A calamity of apocalyptic proportions will be visited upon Atheris, bringing an end to all life. Very sad, that. Huh? So too hath the Watcher claimed. By thine unperturbed countenance, I gather this eventuality was anticipated. is lost on you, to its grisly fate. And this moon will serve as the vessel to deliver us to a new home. Just so! We will gather up as many people, supplies and resources as our stores will hold. And then, once everyone is aboard, it's off to another star. Easier said than done, admittedly, for one does not simply hop from star to star on a whim. Which is precisely why we've spent countless years constructing the most propulsive of propulsion systems! We ought to make it to our destination in two shakes of a rabbit's tail. Impressive technology. I dare say it is beyond anything we have ever seen. No need to shower us with praise. All we've done is faithfully carry out the instructions left to us by Hydaelyn. Back in the old days, when she was still just Venar, she was dedicated to the study of the world and its inner workings. And the Watcher, the real one, not the simulacrum you met, was one of her fellow researchers. We and this wondrous vessel, masquerading as a moon, are products of their knowledge and know-how. There's certainly more to you all than meets the eye. Might I ask where exactly you intend to take us? We identified a few promising candidates for resettlement some time ago, but we cannot guarantee that they are fit for habitation. Moreover, the ship can only travel in short bursts. 
We intend to go down our list, hopping from star to star, until we find one suitable for resettlement. No need to worry, though. The vessel is being refurbished with accommodation for an extended stay as we speak. While we did have to rely upon outside help to determine what amenities were essential, I dare say we have risen to the challenge. Help? From who? <laughs> From you and yours! Who else? Each time we woke to perform regularly scheduled maintenance, we were greeted by the resources you sent us. What better way to learn about preferences and proclivities of our present-day charges? Ah, oh, but you're still adorable little children. Perhaps your elders were responsible for the deliveries. I'm not sure what led you to conclude otherwise, but I can assure you that we are all grown men and women. And I very much doubt my elders know this place exists. Much less how to send you so much as a starlight missive. What? Then who in blazes let you on my moon? Hydalin herself led you here. You don't say! Well, that's really not children. Then why are you so small and stunted? Like little baby carrot people. Well, Amorotines were a great deal taller. In the present day, persons of such prodigious size are exceedingly rare. So, you're saying everyone's not like the Watcher? Oh, confound it all! Someone could have at least scribbled a note about your profound miniaturization! That tome in thy possession. Oh, this? One of the first books sent to us. A compendium of the people of Atheris, with a few blank pages at the back for minor corrections and updates as needed. The sum total of our knowledge of your kind is contained in these pages. I thought it was abridged and made small for our benefit, but this isn't a regular-sized book, is it? you could tell us a bit more about your terrestrial collaborators. Yes, yes, in due time. But first, I'd like to hear more about you, if it's all the same. I'd rather not risk any other complications due to outdated knowledge of our passengers-to-be. 